Hey everybody, I'm going to unbox the collector's edition of my new book, Ethiopia. This big heavy box just came in the mail and uh, this is the first time I've actually had a look at it all together. So let's open it and take a look, shall we? I'm excited. Okay. So the first thing that makes me very happy is that the publisher packaged it really well for shipping. That's a good sign because the last thing you want to do is order this thing and see it smashed. Um, I can see the covers well protected. That's nice. Let's let's take this out of here. Okay. Nice box though, right? Yeah. Okay. okay, that's good. Okay, plastic wrap. Okay, the sides, very good. Ooh, I can already see some blind deboxing right there. Ethiopia. Let me get my very, very on-brand scissors. Okay, ready? Here we go. Uh -huh. Beautiful. So this is to protect the cover from getting scratched on the way. This is the first time that I'm actually seeing the entire box assembled together. Um, I've only seen everything in little pieces, so of course, all of the prints, I did my own color match proofs, the stuff inside, some of it I made and signed, but this is the first time I'm seeing it all as one package, and uh, it makes me honestly pretty, pretty proud, to be honest. Okay, great. So, on the right here, we have the book itself, and on the left is the special edition print. So you can see that it's secured by a magnet, a uh, linen mat. Uh, look at this. Ah, so it, it holds the print still with a magnet and it actually hides the white frame. But if you wanted to display this print in a frame, you could do it. So it's signed by me. And actually I printed these just right up there. This is the first one that's made its way back home. And it looks good. So this is a limited edition. Um, every single print, there's only a hundred of them, and then it changes. So the print that you get with your book is randomized. Me, I got this print from Christmas in Lalibela. Someone else ordering it, you, you might get something else, but there's only a hundred of each print. So that's how it works. So me, I'm not gonna frame this. I'm gonna actually keep it right there in the same mat. It's like perfectly designed and I thought maybe it would drive me crazy if there was like a little bit of white space showing around the edge but there's none it fits in there perfectly so hallelujah so here's the book itself it's covered in plastic and you'll see underneath the book I have the signature card and uh, that's just showing that it's the collector's edition set and what have you but that's not all there is. So most collector's edition sets, they just come with a signed print and that's all well and nice, but there's something very special about this set. And that is if you open this up and go behind in here is uh -huh, a bronze book stand that was actually designed in Ethiopia. So this is usually this kind of stand would be designed for a holy book or a very special book or something like that. But it folds flat and it opens up like this. And there should be two sizes. This is straight up. And then if you just move this a little bit, you should be able to collapse it down. How does this work? There we go, like that. So this is better for looking at a full page spread. So let's have a look, shall we? I'm gonna open the plastic of this book. Smells good. Okay, let's have a look. So the book can just sit right on here like this. The stand can hold the weight of such a big book. And then this just displays it like this. So you can keep this in your house, on your coffee table, on your shelf, anywhere. And every day you could turn the page and display something different. But I always have this problem with my own fine art books that I collect. I never have a way to display such big, beautiful objects, so I wanted to solve that in this set 
with uh, something that was actually designed in Ethiopia that fits the premise of the book, of course. So let's talk about the book itself. Of course, it's a hardcover. There's over 350 images in here from over 13 years of shooting in Ethiopia. So I started when I was 18 years old. That's a long time ago. But um, basically, I split the country into sections, northeast, southwest, and center. And every single section uh, in the book begins with some text in English and Amharic, the national language of Ethiopia and then a map of the general region that I was photographing that shows you some well-known places to get your bearings, but also some of the more localized, specific places that I photographed um, are also on the map, so it's a nice mix of what the locals know, off the beaten path places, and uh, more known places. So the book starts with the east, with the Somali region. It alternates between environmental portraits, so pictures that are on location, and these portraits that were taken in our studio light tent. And throughout the entire book, in every single region, these are alternating between black background and red background, and that's a um, consistency that is carried throughout the whole book to unify everything with one visual language. Um, so we took that tent all over Ethiopia and photographed portraits, still life, and things like that. There's a few blank pages in the book that are intentional, so these are just supposed to be like like a breath between each subsection. So these are the portraits, then we go back to environmental, and it's just supposed to make you focus on one thing. And then the diptychs, the double page spreads, are supposed to draw you back in. So there was a very kind of poetic flow to the book that I put together that starts in the east, you know, goes through the whole country, and finally ends on the north, which is, you know, one of the most well-known regions of Ethiopia. Everybody loves those rock-hewn churches and Ethiopian Christmas. And uh, I ended the book with what most people are seeing from Ethiopia and began with something more unknown. Uh, but we ended with the celebration of Ethiopian Christmas. So, yeah, that's the whole book. If you get it, please enjoy it by a natural light window. <laughs> And if you want to put it back together, here we go. Let's fold it up. It's the book first. The stand. Okay, goes right in there. This protection should put on top so you don't scratch the back of your book. This thread can actually go this way so you can pop the book out easier later. This sheet goes on top here with the thread out like this. The book goes right on top in there. The ribbon I'm going to just fold down there. And then it all closes together as one set. Honestly, this makes me so happy. I thought for sure when I was opening it, I would find like one little like weird thing wrong that would be existing in the back of my head as I do this unboxing video. But honestly, it's like perfect. I'm very happy.